Hello, I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Google Play announced the 2020 edition of our annual Google Play Indie Games Festival. This year, we will host three competitions for indie game developers from Japan, South Korea, and several European countries. Prizes include the chance to exhibit at the final events in Tokyo, Seoul, or Warsaw, promotions on the Google Play Store, and more. Eligibility details and a link to the submission form are on the post. Submissions are open until March 2nd. Mark your calendars for Google Cloud Next, happening April 6th through 8th, 2020 at the Moscone Center in San Francisco. Google Cloud Next features 500 sessions, labs, and training opportunities, bringing together a global community of leaders, developers, influencers, and more to help you get inspired and solve your most pressing business challenges. A link to register is on the post, along with a discount code if you register before February 29th. We have released version 1 of Android Browser Helper, a new Android library for trusted web activity, or TWA, built on top of modern Android Jetpack libraries. It handles opening content in a TWA-supported browser and, if one is not installed, implements a customizable fallback strategy. For a list of features and how to migrate from the previous Custom Tabs client, check out the post. Chrome 80 will conditionally show a new, quieter notification permission UI to protect notifications as a useful service for users. Users will be able to opt into the new UI manually in settings, while automated enrollment will be enabled gradually after the Chrome 80 release while we gather user and developer feedback. Check out the post for more info on enrollment and opt-out, as well as developer recommendations. Google Research put together a survey of some of the work done by Google researchers and engineers during 2019, detailing advances in a broad set of fundamental research areas, applications to new and emerging areas such as healthcare and robotics, open sourcing of a wide variety of code, and continued collaborations with Google product teams to build tools and services that are dramatically more helpful for our users. All that and more is on the post. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Put together a survey of some of the research folks' research